human body is one of the most complex organisms that inhabit the planet. Every single member of this body, however tiny, has its own specific area of responsibility and it is an expert in its job. Some are part of a system that controls one function of the body, like eating, breathing, moving or getting rid of waste. Others make or collect things which the body needs to survive. Each member is made up of millions of tiny cells. The Skeleton System The skeleton is an internal structure made up of bone and cartilage that protects and supports the soft organs, tissues and other parts of an organism. The skeleton system is made up of bones, joints and muscles. Let's study more about them. Bones Press your fingers, arms, legs and your head. Feel hard, don't they? Well, there are bones inside these parts. Now, press your ears, lips and your eyelids. These are soft because there are no bones inside these parts. The bones of our body are joined in such a way that we can move, walk, bend forward, backward and sideways, etc. A newborn baby has around 270 bones, whereas on average an adult human has 206 bones. The bones of our body differ in their size and shape. Let's look at them. Long bones, the bones of arms, legs and thighs are long and thick. They give strength to our body. Short bones. The bones of the fingers and toes are short. They help you to hold things. Flat bones. The bones of the shoulders and hips are flat and large. They help in forming joints with the long bones. The backbone. The backbone is made up of small bones which are like beads on a string. Each bone is called a vertebra. Together they form the backbone. The backbone is also called the vertebral column. Joints A joint is a place where bones meet. The joints are there to enable our movement. Now let's look at the different joints. Hinge joint. Have you seen the doors joined to their frames? A door opens only on one side. The door is joined to the frame by means of hinges. The joints at the elbow and knee are hinge joints. Hence, we can bend our arms and legs only in one direction. Ball and socket joint. A bowler turns his arms 360 degrees while bowling. This is possible only because of this unique joint. The shoulder bone has a round depression or socket. The head of the bone of the upper arm is rounded like a ball. This ball fits and turns in the socket and makes the movement possible. The thigh bone joins the hip bone in a ball and socket joint too. Pivot joint. We can turn our head to look around us. As we turn our head, the skull moves from left shoulder to right shoulder. The movement is about 180 degrees. We can also move our head backward and downward. This is possible because of the pivot joint. It's like the handle of a bicycle. 
sliding joint. The bones of our wrists and ankles have sliding joints. These joints allow many complex movements at the wrist and ankle.